everyone, this is Janice with Cricketology.blogspot.com and today I'm going to make a matching um, Hello Kitty birthday card for our friend Emma who's having a birthday party next weekend. It's a Hello Kitty birthday party and um, I get to go as her guest um, of honor because I'm a Hello Kitty fan as well even though I'm not a little girl <laughs> so that's kind of cute. But um, yeah, I personalized it with her name with the um, uh, A Child's Year Cricut cartridge. Okay, so I'm going to make a matching card and I'm going to make a matching tag as well. And so I cut out, I tried to do this video before and it took too long, so I'm just going to show you the pieces. I um, the pattern paper is from a Martha Stewart stack and it's cut three and three quarters by five. And then the orange piece is a Recollections, uh, the Soda Pop collection um, cardstock and it is four and a quarter or four by five and a quarter. And then of course the pink is the four and a half by eleven scored at five and a half. Okay, and then I wrap the ribbon around the pattern paper and the ribbon is an Offre ribbon yellow gold from Walmart. And I just um, tied it in a bow and then wrapped it around like I normally do if you're familiar with my videos. And then um, what I did was I put together the Hello Kitty from the Hello Kitty Greetings with the little bunny on top and um, I used the multi liquid glue and I know that most people really really like to use this but sometimes I have a hard time with it falling off um, or drying too quickly and, and all of that so I don't like to be rushed so I only use this for teeny tiny pieces and I use this for really mostly everything but the problem most people have is that you end up with all of this glue situation okay and I have an adhesive remover that works really really well for this and I use it a lot I'm just gonna show you I hope that this shows up on this video but see the center of the flowers has lots of excess glue well this really takes care of that problem I wanna say I got this from Stampin Up I've checked at Michaels to see if they carry it because I've had people ask me where they could get it and I um, yeah I want to say I did I got it from Stampin Up but any art supply store you know like Sam Flex I don't know if Hobby Lobby carries it I just don't know so I'm sorry about that but that's what it's called and EK Success carries an adhesive remover as well but I don't know how it works because I've never used it so I can't give you my recommendation so if you want to leave a comment and if you know where you can find these it would be great just leave a comment and so see I'm just kind of cleaning up all that excess glue and it really works well if you tend to have this problem okay just wait until it dries so that you don't end up moving your pieces around and so there it's mostly mostly cleaned up okay and then what I want to do is add some black fun foam to the back to add dimension this fun foam came um, with adhesive on one side and then I added adhesive to the other with my sticker maker. And then and I cut it down to one and a quarter inches um, strips so that I could run it through my little Xyron sticker maker. Okay, so I'll take all these pieces off. I don't have any nails, so I use my either my tweezers or my these are my this is my um, Cutter B retractable craft knife. 
and I'm just going to add it right here. Just my bow. Okay. And then the sentiment is going to go on the inside. I'm just using this little set here from, it's a Studio G set. I'm just going to use the happy birthday from there. I'm just lining it up here on my mat. Oh, you can't even see it because I'm so zoomed in. I couldn't tell that I wasn't in camera. She's my block. And my black tuxedo black memento ink. I'm just going to say happy birthday right here in the middle. There we go. And then as a little finishing touch, I'm going to add a little bit more bling to the center of the flower. And her nose. And this is just a stardust stickles. So, there's my card. Thanks for watching.